Good morning. Continuing with our look into the practice of private confession and the Lutheran understanding of it, we see that the Catechism asks several questions. Among them are, what is private confession? What sins should we confess? What if we are not troubled by any special sins? And how may we be assured of forgiveness? In its answers to these questions, the Catechism emphasizes those sins which trouble us most, those things we regret that burden us. Before God, of course, in completely private prayer, we confess that we're not even aware of all the sins that we commit. Somewhat humorously, or should I say honestly, the Catechism adds that not having any particular sins that we can think of would hardly ever happen. In private confession, the penitent and the pastor both have roles. The penitent speaks specifically of the sin <clears throat> of the sins which trouble him or her. The pastor then pronounces the absolution for those specific sins. If he is a faithful pastor, the penitent can have confidence that he will be gracious and merciful in his demeanor and in his words, thus embodying the grace and mercy of God. Dear Lord, we thank you for your mercy, and we thank you for every opportunity you give us to experience it, including the gift of private confession. Amen. See you tomorrow.